Let's see what tags are and let's see how we can use them. All right, friends, us back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding some custom tags to the game. Now, these are not going to be the name tags that you know that you can put on animals or mobs. No, no, these are going to be tags for our items and our blocks. Now, we've previously used them when we were adding stuff to the mineables and the, you know, iron tool tags right here. And now we're going to add custom tags. So we're going to group some items or some blocks together. And this will increase our compatibility with other mods. Now, first of all, you might ask, hmm, how does that work? Well, let's just go through and let's see. So in our util package, right click new Java class called the mod tags. Now inside of here, we want to create two static classes. The so first one is a public static class called blocks. And the other one is going to be a public static class called items. There you go. Let's start with the blocks class and let's just add stuff to it. So we need two methods, two private methods, private static tag dot identified, then the angle brackets block right here, create tag with a string parameter called name. And then inside of it, we're going to return tag factory dot block dot create, and then a new identifier tutorial mod dot mod ID comma name. And there you go. So that's all that we need. And then we're going to copy this method. So just select it, press Control C, and then Control V to paste it back in. I'm going to create a common tag right here. Instead of passing in our mod ID, we're going to pass in C. So the common tags are going to be placed under the C namespace. And these are going to be common tags that can be shared between different mods. So we're going to see two examples of this in the items in just a moment. So what we'll do is we'll also copy over both of these methods into the items right here. And then instead of having a block here, we're going to say this is item. And then this is item as well. And then here instead of block, we're choosing item. And same here as well. There you go. And now everything here is set up. So now the classes are set up to exactly what we need. And let's just start with the items first of all. Now we're not going to use them, but I will basically show you. So we're going to make public static final tag dot identified once again of type item. And this is, for example, the mithril underscore ingots, which is equal to a new common tag in this case. And this is going to be called mithril underscore ingots. Then we'll just copy this over or duplicate it with control D. We're going to do the same for the nuggets here. And now we've created the common tags. Now, what's very important is that there's two places where you can define the tags. Number one, we can create them inside of this mod tags class. And this just allows us to use certain tags that we can define in the data folder, but basically inside of the code. So this only enables us to use them inside of the code. Sometimes we don't even need to use them in the code. That's also possible that that happens, but it's still good to define them here just so that you basically know which tags there are. So let's just add the mithril ingots tag, and I will show you one insanely great use case for this. So in the data folder, right click new directory called C. And then inside of that directory, right click new directory called tags. And then inside of there, right click new directory called items. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to make the new file called mithril underscore ingots dot JSON. And I will actually copy over the contents of this because once again, this is just a normal, you know, JSON file for the tags. And of course, all of this is, of course, also available to you in the description below GitHub repository and individual gist as well. And now you might ask, well, but where would we use this? Well, we can use this, and this is really cool, inside of a recipe, for example. So we have this recipe where we're using the mithril ingot. What we can do instead is we can say tag the mithril ingots. And now if another mod comes along that also has mithril ingots, and they also have added their mithril ingot to the mithril ingots C namespace tag right here, well, then our block could be crafted with both of them in theory. So this is really cool and really exciting. So this is a definitely a really cool thing and just expands your mod intercompatibility to a huge degree. So I can just highly recommend taking a good look at this. I will also link in the description below a wiki article on all of the different tags that are used by some fabric mods. Highly recommend this. It's a great wiki article as well, by the way. Okay, then let's think about the blocks here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a custom tag for our well in our own namespace. So we're going to make a public static final once again tag dot identified of type block right here. 
And this is going to be the dowsing underscore rod underscore detectable underscore blocks. And this is going to be equal to a create tag in this case. And then just the name dowsing underscore rod underscore detectable underscore rod blocks. Actually, there you go. Just making sure that I write this correctly. Very important. Well, this block, or rather this block tag, what this is going to do is we're going to, instead of having the, in the dowsing rod item, instead of having this hard coded right here, what we're going to do is we're going to basically check if the block that we're just checking right there in the dowsing rod is part of this tag. This will allow, number one, first of all, modpack makers to add blocks to this tag and make them also discoverable for the dowsing rod. Really cool. So once again, increasing our mod intercompatibility and also, it's just uh, way nicer, basically. In the tutorial mod folder, right-click new directory called tags. And then inside of there, I'm going to make a new directory called blocks. And then I will actually copy over the JSON file. Once again, all available to you in the description below, GitHub repository and individual gists. You can see tutorial mod mithril ore. And then there's a bunch of Minecraft ores in there as well. And what we're going to do in the dowsing rod item now, what we're going to do instead of returning this stuff, we're going to say mod tags dot blocks. Our dowsing rod detectable contains and then passing in the block parameter. That's all that we need to do. And this will now already work totally fine. Same with the well new mithril block recipe right here. And like I said, this is only really needed if you want to reference the different tags inside of your code. If you don't really need to reference it, then the JSON files also works. Then you don't necessarily need to add this. I can still highly recommend adding this. You know, there's no real issue there so there shouldn't be any um, issues adding them or not adding them basically right but that's actually all that we need to add some well simple tags and to just see how they work so i guess let's see if everything works all right we found ourselves back in minecraft so let's first of all try out the dowsing rod and let's see if we can find something there you go display iron ore found at negative 22 some more deep slate iron ore copper ore you can see we find we can still find all of the stuff and, and then also additional ones as well and let's just check whether or not the mithril ingot still can craft the block and of course it still can so that's really cool so once again the actual common tag also properly added so everything is still working great and now just added more compatibility with other mods as well Right, and that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.